It's spinning and spinning and spinning. Eat some food. What's up, all you lovely humans? This is episode 42 of the BizGround YouTube show with myself, Ivan Temelka. I'm going to give you a cheesy intro. You can look that up on my YouTube channel. I'm sure you can Google my name as well. I wanted to shoot this video because this is a topic of discussion that I think a lot of people question uh i don't care what line of work you're in or um what you do for a living or what you want to do for a living but this is a very very common topic of discussion about life and business and family and having that counterbalance and how do you make that happen right so you can have it all you can have everything if you want to and in the reality of things I'm not going to say that it's really, really simple to accomplish, but you can have it all if you wanted to. You really can. But, but, and yes, there is a but, you got to be able to do certain things to accomplish what you want. Here to here, you got to do stuff in between, right? So, you see, for me personally, I've been in the agency world for about a decade now. So uh, I worked with a lot of boutique agencies, um, mainly in the marketing industry, and over the last 11 years, to be more specific. And I really never had a sense of fulfillment in what I was doing. Now, I was happy in terms of what I was doing, but I never truly had a full sense of fulfillment in what I was doing, if that makes any sense. And I always wanted more. I always wanted to have ownership over something. I just didn't know quite what that was at that time. So the challenge with that was not knowing where to start. So I wanted something, but I didn't know where to start. How to build something that you call your own, uh, like a business, for instance. And uh, like right now, I own my own digital startup and I'm happy in what I'm doing and I like doing what I do um, because it, it creates interactions with uh, people uh, and inter interact with people and network with people. I work with different clients, but I'm doing that for myself, not for another company or another individual. I don't have it all. I, I wanted everything. I wanted the business. Um, I wanted wealth. Uh, I wanted to have a family. Um, you know, I wanted to have the whole nine yards, basically. And let's see, uh, thus far I have a 14 month old son. So, okay, maybe the family thing. I'm married, so okay, I think I'm getting that down. Uh, I don't know about the wealth thing, you know, I'm not so keen about that because there's one golden rule that I've established for myself that if I ever became wealthy in terms of monetary sense, that I wouldn't let that go to my head because what I've seen happen in a lot of those cases is that. A lot of people let ego get to them and before you know it, their wealth goes out the window. Again, how to have it all? How could I have family, wealth, a business, and be happy if there ever was such thing? Well, here's a few things that you have to keep in mind if you want to accomplish all, all that. How can you have it all? How, how can you have the wealth, the business, um, you want the fancy cars, um, you want the family, all of that, you want the big house, you know, the whole nine yards, right? Or as some would call it, the American dream, right? If that still exists. I, here's what I found out. First of all, you got to work harder than anybody you know. You got to believe that, honestly. It's, and in order to get from point A to point B, there's a bunch of work that you have to do in between, right? And there's really no shortcut from point A to point B. Maybe time travel, I guess. But in this case, that would be kind of redundant because then you wouldn't get any work done if you went from point A to point B using time travel, right? So, okay, you get the point. You gotta work harder than anybody you know. Stop thinking about the hours of the day, how many hours you're working, and just and do the work because that's going to bring value to people. That's gonna help you become more successful. Secondly, be consistent in whatever you do. Consistency builds trust, authority, acknowledgement. 
and people appreciate consistency more than anything. Simmer on that, I should rather say, is you have to be consistent, guys. We live in a day and age where consumers, human beings, because we do business with human beings, look for consistency in companies specifically. So you gotta be consistent. Make sure you're providing value, actual value that people can use in life or business. So something tangible, whether it's, you know, I guess this blog could be value, and I truly hope that it is value to you, that you can learn something and apply it in practicality in your life or your business. Make sure that you are providing value consistently to people. Fourth, I can't count today. The fourth thing is complete and embrace other people more than you do yourself. Use the 8 to 20 rule as an example. 80% of the time, compliment, embrace other, other people, especially those who you idolize or you want to be like one day. It will change your life completely. And then 20% of the time, I guess you could use that for your shameless self-promotion to promote yourself, promote your product, promote your service. So 80-20 rule. 80% of the time, compliment, embrace other, other people, acknowledge 20% of the time, uh, fluff your own self. So that was the fourth thing. The fifth thing is be optimistic while remaining enthusiastic. Guys, optimism in life and business is absolutely gold. You have to be optimistic. Now, if you want to be an entrepreneur, optimism is probably one of the most important things, one of the most important traits that you have to learn how to master. And you have to learn to master it really, really quickly and how to be enthusiastic also at the same time. Because especially in running a business, optimism is something that you have to use as a driving factor on day-to-day -day basis. If you can't be optimistic, if you're significantly skeptical about everything, chances are you're not gonna be very successful. Not only in life, but also in business. So be optimistic while remaining enthusiastic. Sixth thing is do what you love from the time you wake up every day to the time you go to bed. Guys, I think there's this really big misconception where people think that they're gonna become wealthy or successful um, or happy in life if they do what everyone else is doing. And that's probably one of the biggest misconceptions is that you know you could be cleaning toilets for a living, for a living and that's where you earn your money. But in the reality of things, Maybe you are happy scrubbing toilets. I don't know. Uh, maybe you work at a coffee shop or uh, maybe you work at a retail store. Whatever it might be, figure out what it is that makes you happy from the time you wake up every day to the time that you go to bed because that's the passion. You got to have passion and then after the passion, of course, you have to fig figure out how to make that practical and how to monetize it. Okay, uh, from the time you wake up every day to the time you go to bed, follow your passion, figure out how to make it practical and how to monetize it. Because in the reality of things is, would you want to spend the rest of your life doing shit you hate every day, every single day? I don't know about you, but that's the last thing I want to do. The seventh thing, at seven, is dare to be different, okay? We live in a world and you have to excuse me for perhaps being a little bit degrading to some of you watching this, but we do live in a mediocre world, guys. I mean, that's the reality of things, is that you don't want to be mediocre, you want to be different. This is precisely why it's going to help you become different, more knowledgeable, more authoritative, a leader. I mean, look at some of the most successful people in the world, like uh, Bill Gates or... Uh, Elon Musk, for instance, or um, of course, Steve Jobs, you know, and these are people that we all know in today's day and society. And we know them because Mark Zuckerberg is another one just to throw in the mix. These are people that we know because they have gained recognition in society for building something that is recognized, that has value, that has enhanced the lives of people. Be that person. I want you to be that person. Be different than others. Do things that others are not doing because in the reality of things, if you're doing what everybody else is, do is doing, you're not different. You're the same. And that's the reality.
of things. Guys, I hope you got value out of this blog. Like I said, I really wanted to narrow down on how you can have it all. That's right, you can have it all. But you gotta apply yourself. It's just it. Apply yourself and do the work and follow these seven things, like I mentioned. And by the way, in the description below of this video, I would love to hear your comments and thoughts also be below. If you like this video, give it a share. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'm 